Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking up Star-Lord, an old character. And you can see I have a rank up tech gem for 2015-2016 champions. And out of that list that you're seeing there, only Star-Lord would I consider using this gem on. Now, when I first got Star-Lord, he was king for completing Labyrinth of Legends. And I was very happy to get him, but I didn't awaken him. I could not pull another Star-Lord to save my life. Eventually, I ended up getting Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, and then I got him repeatedly, so he didn't even need an awakening gem. It was not until after I fully explored Labyrinth of Legends that I finally pulled another Star-Lord. And I think I pulled him at least twice since then. I'm not sure. Uh, at first, I was putting Sig Stones into him uh, because I had no other options and I didn't know any better. But after I completed Labyrinth of Legends and awakened him and got a little bit more familiar with uh, some of the other champions and prestige uh, became a factor again, uh, I stopped putting uh, Sig Stones into him. All right, so there you go. Starlet is my newest rank four. And we're going to take a look real briefly uh, at Starlord here. Now, there's not a whole lot to him. All right, so you can see his tags. You can see his attributes. He's got some pretty good block proficiency. And take a look at his synergies. Nothing too uh, exciting. All right. And here are his abilities. And we're not going to go into them in depth. Uh, there's not a lot to them, as you can see. Basically, the higher your combo meter, the more damage Star-Lord does. And when you fire off an attack like his special 2 or his special 3, that gun does a random effect. Okay? And that's pretty much Star-Lord in a nutshell. Uh... He doesn't have, you know, any real utility. His main thing is damage. So in this fight here, it's the first of two fights. I want you to just look at how his damage ramps up. All right, that's it. Uh, see how quickly this fight can uh, be over. Now, his uh, hits, don't look so much at how many hits. Uh, there are champions nowadays that can take Winter Soldier down in less hits than Star-Lord. But Star-Lord is still a good option. Uh, you don't want to use him against uh, Safeguard nodes, that's for sure. All right. Um, but as you can see here, one of the things that his gun can do is a shock. He also does a power drain. The one that I usually want is the shock because that does the damage. And the higher your combo meter, the more damage that shock is going to do. So, as you can see here, he's got, you know, there you go. There's the shock right there. Uh, you can see he's only at about 67, okay, 70 hits, right? And look at his damage at 70 hits. Okay, he's already doing 9K crits on his mediums. Just look at that. Now he's up to 10K on his uh, medium attacks here. That is huge. And you see he's not taking a whole lot of damage from that special by blocking it. He's got really nice uh, block proficiency. Now, one of the drawbacks to Star-Lord is that you have to be able to maintain that combo. If you can't, if I lose my combo, I have to start over. And he loses all of that damage. And that can be really disheartening. Uh, in the beginning, I did not like Star-Lord. Um, I used my four star in here. He's only rank four. And I didn't like him because I couldn't maintain a combo. As soon as I would get, you know, the damage going, I would get hit. All right. So that is the first fight. Now we're going to go into Labyrinth of Legends. Now I mentioned before that he was king. And 
he is still really, really good for Labyrinth of Legends. So you saw the team that I went in there with. Basically, that team adds, uh, I believe it was 18%, uh, it might have been more, uh, attack for Star-Lord. I played around with the teams, and uh, I think I did get more than 18. Uh, it might have been 24% attack. In any case, that gives him enough attack that he has the extended and range timer, right? So in this fight, just like in the Realm of Legends fight, you just want to maintain your combo. Now, what you're going to see is some bad RNG, all right? So I'll fire off the special, and there's a power drain. Now, that is the worst one to have happen, and you're going to see me get that several times. The reason that's the worst is because, first of all, you're dealing with Limber, so you're not going to be able to parry this guy for very long. So what you want to do is you want to constantly push him to a special one and bait that out. And that's what you want to do. Now, he has a random evade, that random labyrinth evade that can wreck you. But other than that, that's how you do this fight. But if you get the power drain, you've got to do that all over again. You, then you have to intercept or hit into his block bait out a heavy something so we don't want to see the power drain now why i'm not firing the special three off is because the higher my combo meter the more damage that's going to do if i can get a shot and i waited so that i would get that and i'm hoping for a shock here not a heal block or a power drain and what do we get a shock so look at the damage now that's not the biggest damage that he's going to do if I had gotten that shock with a, a combo of, say, 200 or so, that's going to be a lot. And I believe I do manage to do that in this fight. All right, so that's pretty much the fight there. Uh, we're starting to build up some good damage. And we're not even at 100 uh, hits yet. And I am running suicides. Now, suicides don't really benefit Star-Lord all that much because of the way his damage ramps up. The only thing that suicides do for Star-Lord is they give him a, a, a boost, a, a head start. So he starts out with higher damage than he normally would. That's it. Okay. Without suicides, he's still going to do that damage. He's just going to take a little bit longer to ramp up to it. All right. Now, you can see Star-Lord does get a fury. That's something that... Uh, some folks sometimes forget uh, So he does do some good damage now. We're over a hundred uh, hits here and I fired off another special three Again hoping for the shock always hoping for the shock and what do we get this time? We get a power drain, but you saw that damage that was some really good damage on that special three but the power drain, see what I'm having to do. So I had to parry him a little bit, use up one of my precious parries. And you see that I'm hitting into his block a lot because I want to get him as much power as possible. All right. And if I can bait out heavies like that, we're all good. All right. So look at the damage that he is doing. Now, I'm going to be able to get more of a combo against this uh, Red Hulk. And look at that, 12K on his medium. And did you see that? That was a huge 50K crit, but unfortunately I got a power drain. That was on the special two. So Star-Lord is still a great option for Labyrinth of Legends. He just doesn't have a lot of utility. I wouldn't recommend ranking him up to five unless you really, really liked him and you just had resources that you needed to use and had no one else to use them on. Uh, as you can see at rank four, he is just fine. But I didn't take him up to rank four because I had already completed Labyrinth of Legends. And so I had no real need for him. I had Corvus, I had Ghost. So I didn't need a damage dealer and that's pretty much what he does. 
and he's a ramp up champion and i'm not really fond of ramp up champions all right so here i'm building up my combo meter a little bit more you know before i fire off that special three want to bait out that special one now his special two is not that bad to evade but i prefer baiting out the special one it's nice it's easy the special two sometimes can give you some problems all right so i fired that special three off a little bit soon i wanted to try to hit a 200 uh, hit combo but it is what it is and there we go look at that shock 5k shock damage ticking away that's what i'm talking about right there all right and his damage keeps ramping up now back before they changed him because they did change him uh he had no limit to the damage he could do no one was surviving you know uh star lord if you could build up your combo meter but they changed him and they put a cap on his damage 400 hits i believe is where he caps out and so people were all up in arms about that but most of your enemies are not going to survive that long if you manage to build up to a 400 hit combo you're going to take folks out so we're in labyrinth of legends right one of the most difficult pieces of content look at my combo meter look at his health we're not at 400 hit combo do you think we're going to make it to a 400 hit combo i don't think so all right so here we go look at those 12k crits lovely all right and so we're building up again to a special three and i really want to get a shock on this one okay so there we go now i like to bait out that special one repeatedly until uh i can't make it to the next uh special like that I knew that he wasn't going to get pushed to his special one, so that's when I fired off my special three. All right, if I could have pushed him to a special one, I would have just kept baiting that out. All right, so look at that damage. And it was a shock. Look at that. 7K. Just look at that. That is wicked damage right there. All right, so this fight is almost done, and we're not even at 300 hit combo. He's just not going to survive. You saw he was doing like 13K crits. Beast mode. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a little something about Star-Lord or just enjoyed watching Star-Lord kick butt. Uh, take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. And you all have a blessed day.